I'm Wayne McGregor with Target Tracker and I'm out here today to show you why the Target Tracker is designed the way that it is and why we're better than all the competitors on the market. Um, our unit is approximately $2,000, uh, $21.99 delivered anywhere in the continental United States. And here's why it's better, okay? We designed it for a multitude of different applications. Uh, the first application, target shooting. Um, we have pin hookups for that so you can put 3D archery targets on it or law enforcement targets. Uh, steel, plastic, anything you can imagine. Also if you take it, buy another one of these separately, um, you can actually build a frame and shoot at it going sideways if you want to put paper targets on it. Or you can hang paper targets from the front as well. So a um, couple reasons why we designed it the way that we did. Um, number one is the ease of controls on the remote. Okay. Steering, forward, reverse, that's it. An eight-year-old can operate this unit. <clears throat> um, our remote controls are really nice because they have rechargeable batteries in them. It's real easy. You just plug this in here. You can plug this into any USB port and charge it. Um, we have USB ports in most cars now. So as you're on the way to the range or wherever you're going, plug it in, charge it up, you're good to go. Um, it also comes with the charger for the battery system. So um, that's right here, real simple, real easy. These are all off the shelf parts. You can order them anywhere. So you're not locked down to buying something proprietary that's very expensive. Um, next thing that I want to show you is the way that the target system is set up, okay? Um, we have it a little bit loose here. So as it's driving, you're going to get side to side motion. So this is going to be more to simulate a person moving rather than just something solid, not moving side to side at all. The steering setup where it does not zero with the controller, so if you want to operate it by yourself, you can turn it to a given radius. It can drive in circles while you're shooting at it. Um, the other thing is the suspension. Okay, this is designed to handle rugged terrain. These tires right here, you can replace them at Harbor Freight. So. They're foam filled. You can shoot them uh, many, many times uh, before you have to replace them. Um, the shroud back here covers the circuit and all the motor components. There's a simple on off switch and a battery plug in the back. Um, the unit right here is actually shipped in this full size crate fully assembled. But right here is a nut. If you want to disassemble it to put it in the trunk of your car, you take this nut off right here. You pull this pin right here. There's an electrical disconnect right here, an electrical disconnect inside. So you basically can take it apart in three pieces, put it in the back seat or the trunk of a car. Um, so if you're going to the range, um, it's really easy. What we like to do is we have, this is the crate that is shipped in. We actually designed it as a cargo carrier. So you can use this around the house. Say you're chainsawing some wood, you chainsaw it up, throw your saw in there, throw your wood in there and haul it where you need to go. Um, the unit has an entire payload capacity of 300 pounds. So with the maxed out payload capacity, you're going to get about 30 minutes to 45 minutes run time. The circuit's designed to be regenerative. So when you're going uh, forward and slowing down, the battery's charging. When you're going in reverse, the battery's charging. A sure sign that you have a dead battery is the unit will want to start to creep in reverse by itself because what it's telling the system is it needs to recharge the battery. So if you ever run into that, that's the, the only thing that we couldn't program out of the circuitry. Um, this right here comes with a lid. So you can use it as a mobile workbench if you're doing carpentry jobs around the house. If you want to take out the trash, move leaves, put four uh, bags of 50 pound mulch in here for your landscaping around the yard. You can use this virtually for anything. Anytime you're carrying cargo. We had a customer last year that uh, purchased a unit and he had a triple heart bypass surgery. Well, he loves to hunt. So he called me up. He says, you know, hey, what can we do with this thing? I sent him the brackets that are mounted underneath here so he could mount the crate on the target tracker system unit. He went down to Harbor Freight. He bought a $49 winch. He hooked the winch up right here off the bottom plate inside. And what he did is he actually winched the deer after he shot it right in here and drove it home. Unhooked the deer from the winch threw it over the rafters in his garage, pulled the deer right out of the unit and drove the unit out of the way. So there's a million different applications you can use the target tracker for. 
Um, it's just not a target system. So, I mean, when you're thinking about making a purchase on a target system, ours starts at $17.99. It's $19.99 with the steel target. Um, $325 for the, the brackets for that system. You want to get an extra one here to shoot paper targets so it's going sideways. You've got a 500 meter control, so you can drive this 500 meters in a visual line of sight, so you can use it for sniper practice, long range. Um, you know, it's, it's really unlimited. Um, we mount the cargo carrying unit on here, and my kids drive it around the neighborhood, and their friends jump in, they have a great time with it. And now I'm going to show you exactly what our competitors cannot do. They cannot handle the weight, they can't handle the load. And they can't handle this ramp, and we're going to get that on video and show you right now. So when it's going to make your decision, don't limit yourself to a unit that can only operate on flat, nice, easy surfaces. Um, don't limit yourself to uh, a system that you can't use for uh, a plethora of other jobs. Now this example right here is basically what none of our competitors can do. And for us, it's really simple. Now I ran through that really slow because of the weight of the steel target. So when you have a plastic target on here you can go over it a lot faster and I'll show you that real quick just to show you the difference. Now if you take that um, ramp oblong with this uh, weighted steel target here, the unit will capsize. Um, it's kind of common sense with anything that you have with weight load distribution. So let me show it to you without the target on now. <laughs> And it's that simple to change out targets. It's pocketed in the back right here. So, real simple, real easy. Slides right over here. You can actually turn it this way as well. So if you're indexing the unit side to side, you can shoot at it like that as well. And... So it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can manhandle the unit. Um, you've got zero to nine miles an hour the speed. Doesn't matter forward or reverse, you can take this ramp pretty much any way you want to take it. Drop it off the end. So, you got your steer steering capability, real easy. Um, and it can handle the weight. So, um, the steel target is the, really the only odd part about it, of going over uh, a lot of stuff. You can offset that by making the target height a little bit shorter. Um, if you're on a range like at a military base, we actually had eight foot uh, two by fours coming up with the targets on them. They were behind a berm um, that the Marines and stuff were shooting at. So, um, you know, there's a million different options you can do with this thing. It's tough, it's made to be pretty destructible. So, a um, couple things I'm going to show you right here with the front end. Um, this right here is actually designed as a breakaway unit, so if you hit a tree or a post or something, rather than snap, snap in the axle, you're going to snap this bolt out here, and that's just as simple as taking it to any welding shop and getting it fixed. So, um, real simple to do, easy to control, you can pretty much do anything with this system that you want to. Um, and like I said, I mean, don't limit yourself just to just a target shooting device. Um, you can use this as a mobile workbench, haul anything around the yard. You've got all the flexibility and capability to do whatever you want. So none of our competitors can do that right there. So. Um, first off, none of our competitors uh, start their base model pricing under $2,000. Um, the nearest competitor that really competes with our unit uh, for weight load but still can't do the ramp is about $8,000. So um, the only advantage that that competitor has to us is everything that they have is uh, designed with armor plated shrouds and everything else. So this unit's really strong, it's robust. You can pretty much do anything with it. It's got a lot of power and a lot of power. So, 
you're not going to hurt it. Uh, you can be doing ordinary things around the house, anything you want to do. So this is the sideways version here, and I'll kind of show you how that is with the steel target on it. So if you envision you're at a shooting range, you've got this going back and forth to shoot at it. However you want to do it. So take a look at the target tracker. It won't let you down and it gives you a lot of versatility for your money. So there's no one out there that competes with us. Um, we'd love to see our units in Home Depot, Cabela's, all over the place and make it available for you. And like I said, if you're an archery hunter, we have a, a hunting unit that comes with two pins and you put your 3D targets right on that. This will house basically anything that you can build off of a 2x4, so it doesn't get any easier than that. Take a look, Target Tracker, the ultimate moving target system.